we are we are live. I get the feeling that that theme song is like just way, way too loud. I uh, can't check it right now because we are live and we're not gonna we're not we we go forward. We never ever ever go back unless uh, unless we want to. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff going on tonight. Uh, we are going to try once again to take your telephone calls and. Uh, you know, we, I gave it another test last night and it worked pretty well. You know, I had two different people on. I had Brian Monroe and uh, Eileen was on. The um, theme song is fine. What about, what? hey, Brian, what about uh, our volume as we're speaking? Is that loud enough? Uh, let me know. But speaking of who else I have here. For the for the last few weeks, of course, it has been Mr. Warren Sklar. How are you this evening, Warren? Doing great. I understand you got a new toy there. Uh, Sennheiser. Sennheiser. <laughs> uh, it's like a cross between a piano and... Uh, a rock it's the only thing i can think of it's, yeah uh oh how can you be too low i mean speak uh, go ahead and speak All right, I just turned your way up. See, that's that's the nice thing about having mixers. So Yeah, but I mean I, I'm looking at your levels. Your levels look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's it's the hat. I'm wearing a different hat tonight. Though I am wearing I am wearing for people that that can't tell it is a Mac stock t-shirt. This is from uh, first year, 2015. So that's uh, that's what we got going on there. Isn't that exciting? It's it's a shirt, and and my my uh, what 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 does this hat say? It's Ron John, I think. Yeah, I got that down at Daytona. <sighs> now, uh, when let's see, can you hear Warren now? That's odd. You cannot hear him. Or the feed, let me try and call in. Why is it that people cannot hear us? Can can you not hear you? Listen, if you can't hear us, you can't you can't answer the question. Can't hear you. Is anyone hearing is anyone hearing Warren? Because I'm seeing I'm seeing the levels here, and I'm hearing you, and I'm hearing you through this interface. I'm pretty sure I'm hearing you through this interface. Let me try something here. Go ahead and uh, count five down. I don't understand this. Live stream Skype. I mean, you're showing up. Everything is showing up the way it's supposed to. I don't understand why people can't hear you. So this is going to be another one of those nights, I guess. You know, I... All right, let me go into loopback. Live stream Skype, it's on. Oh, I know. I th oh, would that be the reason why? Yeah. Someday you 
can hear me through Skype. It's not Skype, right? Okay. Can anyone hear him now? I just you made a few got, more changes. Say you got to hold on to what <laughs> we got. Anyway, it keep an eye on make that. A difference for waiting on that. Okay. Everything so you, looks like it's supposed to. I mean, I guess I could call in. And okay, talk to they you can hear way. you now. Oh, they can hear me? Yeah. Okay. I think uh, I know. I, it was, it, uh, it's an OBS thing, you know, so okay. you were, your audio was showing up, but I didn't have, I guess I didn't have the, the right audio track enabled. <laughs> and everyone who's watching this, I am so, so sorry that, that you guys have to deal with this on a weekly basis. Uh, eventually everything will work and, and everyone will be so excited to see it work. Uh, Luckily, I was I was rude to everybody while they couldn't hear me. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that that was a good thing. Okay, so well, everyone can hear you now. So yep. okay, why good. why back. don't we um, why don't we talk about what the uh, what the topic is now? I've I picked up this story from CNBC, though to give credit where credit is due. Uh, I first heard it when I was listening to Bart Bouchat's show, which you can find on the the Stoplight Net. Uh, sorry, the My Mac Podcasting Network. He does the uh, the Let's Talk Apple show once a month, and uh, there was a story that they had, and again, this is from CNBC, that was talking about the number of products that Apple has in people's homes, and currently, according to this article. 64% of Americans now own at least one Apple product and that the average American household reports owning 2.6 Apple products. That 0.6, I think that's like an old iPhone that, you know, that they don't use anymore. Uh, and that the wealthiest Americans own 4.7 products per household compared with just one for the poorest so there's there's a uh, there's some kind of wage gap going on here what do you think warren now how many how many devices do you have i actually have all mine listed here but can you can you take a guess on what you have the number of and we're talking about the whole family or just me no, no the whole family oh jesus christ uh, I mean, well, take I take it, it from take it from like laptops how many laptops um, we have three MacBooks. Uh, okay. I have two. I have two. My son has one. I can't convince my wife to do it. So we have three la three MacBooks. Um, my son has a iPhone seven. Um, uh, okay. So it's three and four and you have an iPhone. Four. I have an iPhone. That's five. Five. I Your wife? An, uh, she has an iPhone seven. That's six. Six. Uh, so, uh, uh, I have an iPad seven uh, pro pro. She has an iPad eight. Uh, um, I have a uh, Apple TV nine. Um, I mean, AirPods, if you count them, I'm looking at them. Sure. I don't know. Accessories. Right. You know, I, uh, I don't uh, want to count. I don't want to count things like, um, keyboards and mice no, okay. and, you know, but AirPods, I mean, if, if the product costs, over a hundred dollars, and I realize that that's setting the bar kind of low, because I yeah. think at this point it's really hard to find an Apple product that is under a hundred dollars. But AirPods are new, so let's throw them in there. Oh, you know what I didn't put on here? Apple Watch. Oh, yeah, yeah, the watch. Got that. Um, so what are we watch. up to? What are you up to? Let's not count the AirPods. Let's count just like things with screens. How's okay. that? Okay. Um, so ten. So okay. Uh, yeah, ten. I have the watch. Yeah. And do you have any any desktop Macs? Nah, or you guys nah, all use laptops? We're all laptops, yeah. Okay. Um here in the house, I have my Mac Pro, my 2010 Mac Pro. Uh I've got the cinema display which is currently glassless, which that's a whole thing. Um mm -hmm. two Mac Minis, the the Mac Mini that I'm using for the Xeno service actually is not the one that I got from you. It's a 2012 quad core i or quad core i7 that I picked up, and of course then the 
I think it's a 2.4 gigahertz, the 2014 one that you sold me. Um, two iPhones, my iPhone and my wife's iPhone. Two laptops, my laptop and her laptop. Two iPads, same thing. Two Apple TVs, one upstairs, one downstairs. And if you want to count things like what my kids have, because I'm still, you know, I still pay for both of their their cell coverage. So that's two other iPhones. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my, my son Peter has an iMac, but I don't really think I want to count that since that's down in Fredericksburg and I'm not paying for his access. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then they both also have laptops. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, maybe sixteen active Apple devices here in the house. Yep. Oh, sorry, I forgot my own watch. Seventeen. Yeah, I think I missed a few too. I, I have I have two other Apple older generation Apple TVs around the house scattered. So there's two more there. Um, so yeah, there, there's probably more in the woodwork. But I I try personally I try once in a while to consolidate, sell, clean, and, some, and yeah. upgrade. <laughs> so. Well, I still uh, have I still have. Um, two power PC computers here in the house. I've got mm. a 300 megahertz beige desktop. If you if you know what those look like, and yeah, uh, the old ones. The- oh, it's super old. And this has the uh, the Wings card in the back, so that you could have um, com- composite video. No, sorry, component video directly into the computer. So uh, you could have mm. component video in and audio component video and audio out from this wings card that was on the back of these 300 uh, g3 desktops and this was before you had all the usb video capture cards that we have now and then i Mm. also have uh it started off as a 933 g4 quicksilver tower from like 2001 uh but i did a review at mymac.com for a an upgrade processor so it has a a dual 1.8 gigahertz g4 in it and at the time i mean and i i'm rocking it with like 768 megs of ram and Mm -hmm. you know it probably has close to a 750 meg hard drive so that that was a serious machine back then back then yep i I've had stuff. Yeah. <laughs> now, Frank Petri says he has four. Yeah. Todd Hensley to. says 13. we got nine people that are listening right now. Uh, Patrick yeah. Dillon has 12. Uh, Brian Monroe says we should count the AirPods. Uh, Larissa yeah. says she's they're about to get 13. They're getting their 11-year-old a MacBook Air for Christmas. Todd Hensley corrected himself and says 15. Uh, yeah. let's see. He also says he doesn't count his work MacBook Pro since he doesn't own it. Jimmy. Favority. Favority. Is that like, yeah. uh, the, the, uh, quarterback, uh, Favre? Favre. Could it be Favre? Yeah. Could be Favre. 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 Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Favre. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, Jimmy. We're butchering your name. Yeah. Um, well, wouldn't be for the first time. He's got a whole bunch there too. Yeah, um, if and- you guys are interested, I'm going to put something up here. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, you can see the URL for the Xeno Live GTech podcast. You can listen. You can actually listen to it from your browser as compared to, of course, you can also listen to it from Facebook. Um, and in just a minute, I'm going to open up the phone lines and you can actually call us and talk to us 701-801-4367 then dial 5. Now I got to warn you that if you can also connect through a web browser but there is significant delay or at least there was last night in the Xeno Live service if you go through the web browser whereas if you go through your phone uh, there's really not much of a delay and if you're calling from overseas I can also guarantee you that whatever service charges or toll charges or whatever would apply if you called the United States will still be in place here. So if you're calling from from somewhere other than the United States, uh, you should you should definitely uh, be advised of that. Now, um, everybody, it is, everybody, find your landlines yeah. if you have them. <laughs> 
Uh, well, yeah, you could actually you could actually call us. You could call us on a regular telephone, 701-801-4367, and then hit five afterwards. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a little break here, and when we come back, uh, you guys will be able to call us. And uh, ah. yeah, hold on, we'll be right back. Are you a new Mac user or an old hand? Wish you could know the ins and outs, keyboard shortcuts, or hidden tips and tricks to make you more efficient using your favorite computer? Hey, it's your lucky day, because Edward Eisen has written a great guide to knowing more about the Mac and the OS that it runs on. It's called This Is The Light Side, and it's available through Apple's iBookstore or with Amazon. Better yet, it's not a stuffy old book that gathers dust on the shelf once the next operating system is released, because it's an ebook that you can look at any time you want. It won't get outdated because it's continuously being updated. Information on setting up your new Mac, installing and getting rid of applications, security settings and what to look out for, keyboard shortcuts, some basic app recommendations, how to use Windows on your Mac, if you really want to, that is. Advanced topics, searching, using iCloud, and much more. All this for a mere 99 cents. Go to the iBookstore or Amazon and check out Edward Eisen's This is the Light Side. It's the book you want on your virtual shelf. Oh, boy, that cut off much more abruptly than I thought it was going to. We have we have a caller, and we are going to take him, maybe. Hello? Mr. Oh. Caller. Yes, this is Mr. Brian. Hey, hey, Brian, Brian. what's going on? Oh, his first time. Hey, just wanted to call in and make sure things are working for the system here. It sounds like it's working still good tonight, which is awesome. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm, well, I mean, considering the, the fabulous start that we had, uh, when we when we first started, where nobody could hear Warren, uh, I th I think uh, the fact that that Zeno Live is is actually doing what I thought it was going to is a good thing. <sighs> Can you have more than one person? Yeah. talking at the same time. Yeah, we like had uh, have... I think we had like what three people on at one time, Brian. Like yeah, we, we had your, like all... we had a relative of yours, anyways, calling in, me calling in, and I think it might have been a third person at the same time as well, basically. Yeah. So. Can we get like all 11 people that are on this, you know, chat room to talk all at the same time? Um, or would we, it kill things? We could, it would probably would kill like, things. I think it would that. Be like you would have the McLaughlin group basically, everyone yelling over each other basically. <laughs> yeah, but that that would be awesome. Every nobody would know anything about what was going on. Uh, Brian, oh, how many goodness. devices? No. <laughs> what else is new? How many <laughs> devices do you have at your house, Brian? Apple devices. Your Apple devices. Okay, let me see. One. Three, four, For people five, that don't know, six, I met seven, I met Brian in person, by the way. Uh, probably about seven or eight, basically, including the AirPods, something like that. Yeah, basically. And yeah, these are these are all person, active you know. active devices. Oh, uh, Wi-Fi router. Yeah, that'd be eight, eight or nine, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've exactly, got you've got yeah, you've totally. got an airport router. We all have an airport yeah, well, router. Kind of you don't have to count the router. router. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't I, I don't have one. Really? No. Oh. No, no, I, I had, I had. I thought the, they came um, standard, pretty well, much at the house. I, I, I didn't have the, the, the tall one. I had the, the, the square one that used to look like the old Apple TV. That's that same kind of shape. Yes. And right, it was, right. it was a G only. I mean, that, that's as high as it went. It was, it was a G. And when we switched from the service, the, the ISP that we used to have to the ISP that we have now, um. They right. gave us they gave us a router that had built in N, and I was like, you know what, you know, it, instead of trying to work my way around this and and use the the router that we got from our ISP as our as our gateway in, and then go through the Airport Extreme because it was an Apple device, I decided I just mm -hmm. wasn't going to screw with it, and I just took it out, and we so we decided just to use the. Um, uh, just the built-in router, which we just recently so, had to have changed. So, Brian, you said right. ten, tennis. What'd you have? Yeah, about basically. Yeah, I mean, like I said, between my iPhone, two iPads, uh, two MacBooks, uh, the Apple router, basically Air, Air, the Air, AirPods, 
uh, the Apple TV, you know, 4, 4K and everything else, but, you know, and the Mac Mini, basically. That basically is my, my deal. So, yeah. So keep in mind, yeah. everybody, we are a very bad test group of this. No, I mean, yeah. the reality of the situation. Well, no, but here's the thing. I mean, you're looking at a situation like that, but a lot of my clients, honestly, have, you know, got at least got a MacBook or some, some computer, basically, they're going to have. They're going to have a, an iPad and an iPhone, right? That's three at least right there, right? So I may have an right. Apple Watch, that's four, right? Then they got an Apple TV, that's five, right? So then you got those things going. Um, you know, you're going to start adding up, including Apple routers, which we're phasing out now, going for arrows right now at this point. But, you know, so it, yeah. it's that's that's what's happening, you know. So so it's not unheard of to have a lot, basically, you know. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a comment here from John uh, Honos asking – uh, can you can you advertise and what are the rates? I, I'm not quite sure what you're asking me there, John. But he's got another he, comment under that. Asking, his comment. Go ahead. Look, I uh, if if there was a way to display who was calling in. Right. So the first thing he's asking is because of uh, Ed's book doing the credits. Uh, he wants to know if you could put an ad in there. And I kind of said we put in Ed's book during the intermission just because you know he owns the place. Sure. Um, but we could yeah. talk. You know, we could talk about that at some point. Uh, the second question is for you. Okay, so I guess uh, John, you're talking about the the Zeno service. There is a way to do it if you sign in through their service, the Zenolive.com forward slash GTech Podcast. Uh, you can actually call in from your browser. And when you do that, it gives you an option to put in a little message. So you could put in your name, you could put in, you know, basically whatever it is that you want. And I would see it here on the screen. Um, now, nobody can see the setup that I have here. I think I kind of flashed it at, at Warren one night with my with the webcam. But I, I've hmm. got a three monitor setup here. I've got two 27 inch monitors connected to the Mac Pro that I'm using with OBS and Facebook to do the live cast. And then I'm using a quad core Mac Mini going to a separate monitor for the Xeno service. And uh, that's that's basically how that's working. Now there's one of the things that I can do, that I can do, from here are there more callers can we get more callers on uh there's actually okay. there's yeah. no there's nobody else calling right at this moment what yeah people what? come on it's working <laughs> come on there's 11 people watching and only one caller yes and i've got the number right here on the screen 701-801-4367 then dial five yeah. huh, what's oh, wrong oh. what's what's the deal mm -hmm. the, the first person who calls in will get a prize they will Maybe. Are you are you volunteering a prize? Because I got I'm squat. Looking around, I'm looking around the house. <laughs> um, I'm going to say congratulations to John Hanos getting his uh, iPhone 10. It looks like he has. So. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, this is my... here for you guys. <laughs> so I posted a about a week ago a case I bought for my iPhone 10. It was a red thing, uh, and it looked really nice. But the button, the side button, didn't work at all. Mm. So I, I returned it today um, and bought this one instead. It's a UAG one. It's very. Is red. that who makes it? Yeah. Can I, everybody see it? Ooh, UAG it looks like backwards. I don't know if that's because of how. Uh, <laughs> how yeah, oh, if you spell no, no, it, if no, you do it, it it's, backwards, it's, it's like, the right way. Yeah, that that, that almost sort of that almost spells that almost looks like it spells a really bad word. So, uh, yeah, yeah, but it, <laughs> yeah, it's let's, a neat let's case. not do I that. Like okay, well, uh, I'm glad I'm glad the case is good, uh, it, but the, pretty, yeah. It, so, uh, okay. do you actually have the service up there on I your don't. phone? Warren? Um, I'm on, I'm monitoring the Facebook chat on the phone. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, we got there's ten other people here now. Brian, you're actually listening to it through your phone at the moment, right? Yeah, through actually technically speaking, I'm calling on uh, Google Voice right now, so that works. So I can use my That's... ATR 2000 microphone, and it all oh, sounds cool. wonderful. And you know, 
works anyway. Well, you know what? And that's yeah. a way, if you're overseas and you have a Google Voice account, that's a way that you can call in, too, without but having to cost any money. overseas, by the way. They don't like to use those overseas. You have to, within the U.S. Really? only, by the way. Well, that yeah. sucks. Google Voice is... All right. Well, if you stuff. if you, you if you have a Skype good. number, if you have a Skype number, you can yes. use Skype, Skype works. to call in on seven zero one eight zero one four three six seven and then dial five. If you're overseas, mm-hmm. and it won't cost you anything, or you can just so, pick up exactly. your phone. All n- other nine people that are in the room right now, you can pick up your phone, dial one seven zero one eight zero one four three six seven, then dial five. So Jason Domo is getting his phone tomorrow. He's been posting a while. Um, so I'm going to ask him here. The last phone he got, I remember, was a 7 Plus. And he bought the red edition, and he had another edition, and he swapped the parts around to make a Franken phone. So I'm going to ask if he's going to do the same thing again. And we'll get back to that. Yeah, eventually, because it's about a 10-second delay. We have... There is a second person that is currently on the Xeno service. Mm-hmm. I do not see them calling in. Brian, if they call in, I'm going to hang up on you and bring uh, them in. He has, That's fine. He has, he has the 8 I'm, now. Yeah. yeah, I'm still on a 6 Plus, and I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, you your, phone does, your phone does everything my uh, iPhone 10 does, just not really nearly as, slow. Not nearly as cool yeah. or nice or, no, it's or, not. or, or, or yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I got this. I got this really out. cool. I got this really cool kind of weird. Uh, what do you want to call it? Um, That's a skin. I, yeah, I it's sent a skin. you the link to that. And yeah, it's, and it's got the yeah. the old style Apple logo on it. I you think know, Brian and, or somebody asked me that. This is I got a skin on the back of my iPad, and these skins are actually pretty oh, okay. Cool. So cool. Um, I had the, one with Zombie Snow White, not on my iPad Pro, but it was on. It was on the old one. That, on uh, the the Mac, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, the, no, no. The, it was an iPad, iPad third gen that I had. Oh, okay. But I've seen uh, the, now. I've seen the Snow White on the MacBooks, the old MacBooks, where she's yeah. eating the apple, and the yeah. apple's a lit up apple. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. But yes, yeah, skins. I mean, some people hate skins. I, you yeah. know, I, I play with them here and there. But well, I know Tim them. Tim Robertson, who actually owns the my Mac and all the rest of that. Um. He had he had Batman with you know yeah. the and the Apple logo was was like where the bat symbol was that looked really cool. Yeah. And I think he actually yeah. had one that oh uh, Brian we're gonna, I'm going to let you go we got another call coming in dude. Okay. Oh. Okay. Thanks for calling. Talk to you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. See you. What do we got? Hello three one two you are on the air. Hello, this is John Hanna. Hey John. Hey John. What's going on? How are you guys doing? Doing fine. You sound great. Yeah, are you calling from your car? Good. I'm actually sitting in downtown Chicago in my car. I was just getting ready to run in, and I caught you guys, so I thought I'd sit here and watch for a second, so I am not driving. <laughs> That's good. I saw that. And you're 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 calling in from your iPhone X 10? It sounds good. Yep. I, I actually got it, you know, I got it uh, hooked up in my car. So I'm like basically hands free looking at you guys. I just put in some headphones. I would normally wire it through the car Bluetooth, but I just put you guys on uh, headphone and I saw Ed's uh, little advertisement. And as you know, I own an agency and I thought, hey, I'd be willing to pay some for some advertising if you guys are open for that. And while I was here on the cell phone, just kind of sitting here, I was I was very interested in what one of the previous callers was saying, but I didn't I couldn't catch his name or anything. Like that was that Brian. Because. Mm-hmm. Brian, okay, because like you know, with through through the news feed and all that through the group, you kind of get to know people and their personalities, and then when you hear them on the phone, you know, it's it's kind of different. So it just kind of uh, brings the community together. I just didn't know if there was a way to say you know so and so calling in or what have you. It, yeah, no, those are definitely well, good points. Well, like I yeah. said, you can if you go through uh, a browser that it it has that that capability of doing so. Um. I don't believe there's a way to do it. I mean, basically, when you call in on your phone, all I see is the phone number that you're calling from. So, I, you know, I don't call out your entire phone number, but I, I will just say, you know, area code 312 or, or what have you. Just or to let you... even even Wayne could, like, when the person calls in, they could just announce their name and he could just 
fight that out saying, you know, currently John's I, on the phone or I'm, I was actually Brian's about to do I'm I'm doing that as you speak, by the way. Because that's exactly what I was thinking about doing. Because so that basically, way I, can, I, can attach, I can attach the person with who I, you know, have gotten to know through the group and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, what is exactly. what does your agency do? We're a creative agency. We do web design and branding and what have you. Um, we're here based in Chicago and Detroit, but uh, you know, so we run an agency. Um, I probably have about thirty IMAX that you know all my designers and uh, developers use and i know i've talked to, to wayne about this um Lord. you know when i travel i travel back and forth between chicago and detroit so you know i have multiple devices on me at all time and um that's why you know when i joined the group I, it was just perfect because i got a bunch of geeks and nerds who love this stuff as much as i do and um you know it's, it's good to have some knowledge and you know i kind of signed up for some of those other sites and it's funny, I just totally discontinued because some of the questions they ask are so basic and fundamental, it's like, it's, it's, it's mind-numbing. So it's good to have an intelligent yeah. discourse with you guys, and, and the people are really a high level in this, in this group, so I would like to you know, say I appreciate that. Well, thank so, you. Yeah, thank you. So I saw John's website, I think we were talking about it, and it was really, really good. So... Um, and people ask me, I don't know about everybody else, but people ask me if I know a web designer uh, or if they ask me if I do it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't do that. Um, so his site looks good. So, John, um, I, you know, if you haven't done it, we could definitely, you know, if you could put it that it's okay with me if you just want to put a link in uh, Mac to the Future um, website yep. again saying that you do it and, you know, that's it and have a look at your website. Yeah, you can be, also you can also me. get a hold of um, John Nemo over at mymac.com because uh, yep. I also do the MyMac podcast on the weekends with Gaz. And what time we, is that? Uh, well, th we don't do that live. That that's that's like pre-recorded, oh, okay. and then it usually comes out either late Sunday, or early Monday. Uh, but we have we have two commercial breaks that we do in that show, and currently, uh, what I've been doing actually for a really long time is just doing a like an advertisement for other people's podcasts that we throw in there. Uh, I don't know if you would want to have like a do like a live read or if you if you have like a pre-recorded spot that you already have or if you wanted to develop a pre-recorded spot uh, that would that would entirely be up to you. Well, actually, I thought you did such a great job. I mean, like, I would actually just, whatever you did for Ed, I mean, I, we would pay for, you know, and, and I know a lot of people don't want commercials, so I don't want to make it about that, but I'm just saying if down the road or, you know, you guys got to pay the bills and it's, and, it's, and it's fortuitous and fruitful for the community if there's some revenue, for whatever reason, I'm just saying I would be, I would be up for that and I would pay for your time to, you know, create a 15, 30-second spot, whatever it is. Uh, you got a you got a good presence. You've obviously done this for a while. Yeah, yeah so for a very long time. Away. I would just I would just have you just do your thing and just mention just do a shout out. That's it. Yeah. Why don't we Why don't we take it offline? But I I you know I think that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't, yeah. We can talk about this through either messaging or I mean directly on the site doesn't really matter. Yeah. We create a thread on that. But yeah. um, yeah. I mean it's. You know, getting people together, uh, doing what they like to do, and getting paid is always a good thing. So, I'm yeah, good with you guys it. are doing a great job. I will continue to listen, and I'll let someone else get on the line then. Okay. Right. Well, if we had somebody else to come onto the line, I would say, okay. Well, it's <laughs> great to talk to you, John. Uh, well, what what what, what is and, the topic tonight? Oh, uh, we were just talking tonight. We were just talking about you know how many Apple devices people own. Uh, there was a there was an article that was talking about the number of Apple products that the average person in the United States has, and I just thought it was kind of interesting. And right now we're in we're in this, you know, the, the weird thing about talking about Apple is you would think that with a company as big as Apple is that there would be stuff to talk about all the time that there would constantly be news but Apple because of their their quest for secrecy and you know how close they are about future products I mean it, it was really a huge surprise when a couple months ago 
they came out and talked about, well, we're going to put out an, an iMac Pro before the end yeah. of the year. And that was that was kind of like, whoa. yeah. Whereas other companies are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got these laptops coming out, and they're going to have these specifications, and we've got these desktop computers, and they're going to do this, and all these phones. And you know, they just throw everything out there to see what's going to stick on the wall. And the stuff that sticks is the stuff they actually make. The stuff that doesn't get a lot of traction, they're like, yeah, okay, we'll get to it eventually. But you know, Apple has never played that game they've always been uh okay well here is our latest thing and you can get it right now you know they they don't typically do pre-announcements so the whole thing with the the iMac Pro which obviously was a reaction to all the bad press that they were getting because of how long in the tooth the uh the trash can pro was getting yeah um so they had to do something. And I, my feeling is that they've had what what they call the iMac Pro in their skunk works for a long time. And when they started really getting hammered about the Pro, I think they basically said, well, somebody go into the that room and find something that we can we can put out there that's going to make people happy until we can re-engineer a, a a new better more modular which I'm guessing is the next is what the next Mac Pro is going to be uh Mac Pro and they came out and it was like well we've got this iMac that we somehow slammed you know 6 to 18 cores into and they were like great run with it so you know I think that's where we're at right now as far as the pro goes you know what's going to be well, great. Well, the other thing that I would say is, I know for me personally, like you said, I think by design they're very furtive in their in their means. But the only thing I, I mean, I do is you know is look for their patents that are coming out and things that are actually kind of published, and you can kind of see where they're going with that. But other than that, you're right. I mean, there's there's not much you know fodder for the fire, um, so to speak, out there. Um, but that's uh, that's about you know all the crumbs they really get, I really see out there. I I think they actually put out a lot of disinformation to throw off other companies. Um, I, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of companies that copy what Apple does and, you know, and to, to be fair, there's a lot of stuff that other companies are doing that Apple. Oh, how can we put this? How can we put this kindly creatively re-engineers and you know puts out their own version of it uh, a good example would be wireless charging you know that was something that they didn't show any interest in at all and then the the 10 comes out and it's like yeah you can you can you can wire it you know charge it wirelessly and and we're going to have these these terrific uh, top of the line wireless chargers that you can do two at a time and the rest of the industry is like well just damn it we we were going to do that, but they, they didn't, they, you know, they just kind of sat there and waited. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, Apple does what it is they do and they keep the rest of the industry kind of guessing. And I think that's, that's a, that's probably a good thing overall for the industry because the, the whole idea of, and, and this is what tech was like for a very, very long time. Put out tons of products, and if there's something that becomes a big hit, that's what gets the big push, and everything else kind of falls off to the wayside. And if you were one of the, the, the poor suckers that bought a device that didn't catch on, uh, well, too bad, so sad. You know, and, and the Android the Android world is kind of filled with that. There's There's lots of Android phones out there that you know arrived with great fanfare and then nobody either nobody really bought them or the 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 technology kind of passed it by before it was able to get any real traction or there was you know somebody else had the new shiny for the week and if you bought one of these phones and it had say android 4 on it well i hope you like android 4 because that's about as far as that phone's ever going to go whoop we lost uh we lost john yeah, you were going on and on and on, but I'm sure he's I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just kind 
I was just gonna say when the Mac uh, when the Max uh, the Mac Pro comes out, it's, uh, all the garbage cans are gonna go on sale, and I'm gonna get one for every room instead of a real garbage can. So, and and you can you can kind of disguise them by making them look like the uh, the those new speakers. They'll, real, they'll look just like real garbage white. cans. Yeah, and this <laughs> my wife won't notice them. <clears throat> all right. Um, well, what else we got you, going John, on? Thank you, John, for calling in. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Um, I think that's that's probably going to be about it for the night. Yeah. This, you got anybody else, else? want to call? We not um, really. We were going to talk a little bit about core well, we playing. Have. If anybody. Okay. Well, go ahead. All right. We could talk about that. See if anybody wants to talk about that or call in about it. But um, somebody posted a link um, to a new service. Um, try. Was a philo p h i l o dot com, h t t p s colon backslash backslash t r y dot p h i l o dot com. It's in, it looks like a semi legitimate service where you could get kind of a basic. Siri just tried to. Which sick? What <laughs> Siri? <laughs> I did. I didn't even summon it's- her. It's all crazy. Ah, what is she doing? And now I can't get out of this. Okay. Ah. Okay. Um. Anyhow, where was I? So it's a Philo account where it was like 16 bucks. You could get about 40 channels. It's okay. 37 channels for 16 bucks. Here's a site and 46 channels for 20 bucks a month, which is for pretty cheap. Um, and I'm looking at the channels. You get Comedy Central, Nickelodeon, VH1, TV Land. Um, you don't get the major networks. So, well, of course not. Yeah. Um, so you get you get a couple of the cable stations, and um, you know, I've thrown the idea around to the wife about cord cutting completely. And she's not into it, so I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be into it either. If she's not into it. Well, but. you know, the the whole thing is the whole thing. You can get a, a a digital antenna that will pick up the major networks in your area. So it's it's not like you're going to be without ABC and CBS and NBC and Fox. Uh, as as long as those stations are 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 actually transmitting digitally. The digital antenna will pick them up, and, and you can still have them. But it, it, you end up with kind of a, a, a similar scenario that that you get with, like, say, the Apple TV or a Roku. Box. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, I mean, so you could get you could get the local network channels through Apple TV as well with their apps. Now, it, it gets confusing at that point because. In order to get the network stations on an Apple TV with like the ABC app, it asks you to sign into your uh, TV provider like Verizon or Comcast. So you have to have it to have it. In other words, well, if you're just using them as an ISP, is that? I mean, it, does that not count? I don't know. I don't know. But you have to log in uh, as for an account. So if you're just and again. It, the point doesn't make a lot of sense either because if you just use them for an ISP, you're paying almost the same amount as you're paying for the TV at that point because of the bundle, uh, and everybody's you know losing that that way. But you know, in any case, you got all the network apps. You got let's say you got this new thing I'm talking about, this Philo app. You got Comedy Central app. You, well, every, now, is this is this an app that you can actually put on the Apple TV? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like a, on an iPad. Every every station now has an app, and um, uh, every so what was supposed to happen was when Apple TV uh, third gen, the last one, not this one, came out right before they came on and said we're going to have this great single sign-on. Basically, it said if you log in once you could tell siri to put on abc you could tell siri to put on cbs you could tell siri to watch big bang theory and it's going to search through every app every netflix every uh itunes everything and, and try to find it and that never happened you can't do that so that's why 
it's a pain in the butt um, to you know to do it. So what needs to happen is it needs to consolidate. It needs to go into like one area where you can just log in once and watch everything. And if you have to pay, and that's the other thing, every every premium channel now has an app that they want you to pay for. There's HBO Go, which is like HBO on the app. Um, so if you do this, are you going to start paying HBO? You're going to start paying ABC for their premium apps. I mean, it's it's not together. Well, um, I, I'm currently subscribed and paying for the CBS app, mostly just so I can get Star Trek Discovery. And uh, I'm probably going to drop it within the next week or so because, number one, Star Trek Discovery for me, while it's been – it's it's been nice it's actually been a, a pretty fun show to watch it's not star trek it is not any kind of star trek that i can identify with and it doesn't really seem to fit in with any timeline in any show that they've ever made but you know i, I don't want to turn this into a, a star trek discovery no no but but you're thing. paying so you're paying it's CBS. like it's like six bucks a month right so let's but, say you want to watch Star Trek. That's six dollars a month. Let's say now you, uh, after you want to watch Stranger Things, that's ten dollars a month on Netflix. Now you want to watch Game of Thrones. That's another ten dollars on HBO Go a month. So whatever you want to watch, you got to pay whoever, sure, whichever studio basically is, is putting out the it. content. Yeah, but and, the, and the mean, problem just, with the CBS app is, for that six dollars a month, they're still showing commercials. For that six dollars a month, uh, they've got this huge back catalog of TV shows that CBS has had for a very, very long time. But oh, we got another caller. But none of them actually. Whoops! Come on. On air. We're getting a lot, and we are getting a lot of comments on this. If you want me to start. Hello, six oh nine. Area code six oh nine. How are you? I know. I turned off the sound on the uh, iMac because I didn't know if it was really like a delay. There is but, a delay. Uh, no, what I what I do as far as the TV goes is I who is this? Antenna. Yeah, uh, who who's this? This is Frank. Oh, hey, Frank. Frank and, Petrie. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just outside of Philly, and it's weird. I I can get NBC and CBS, but I can't get the local PBS, and I can't get the local ABC. But that works fine for me because I have an Apple TV and I watch anything I want from ABC. I just put on Hulu and I now watch my podcast. Now, as far as the thing that Guy was asking about, uh, Catch-22 is if you want to sign in for the major stations through your Apple TV, you do have to have a regular account. You can't so not not just account. not just an I not just an internet so just not data, right? Right. So exactly. so so you're paying so you're paying for Comcast or Verizon to television use their service. App. Yeah. Exactly. So it doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm yeah. No, see that's so that's nonsense. The the, yeah, it is. It's a catch twenty two. You know, I, I, it's not just Comcast. I mean, every every uh, ISP I've worked with or I've used, it's the same thing. You you go on to one of the channels on, let's say, the Apple TV, and it says, okay, go activate. Here's your activation code. I go to activate, and it says, okay, pick your provider. In fact, if you go on your iPhone right now, is it the iPhone or the iPad? I forget. In settings, you can the put TV in app, your yeah. provider. And it's like, yeah. well, what's the point? It doesn't do. So you mentioned you have Hulu, right? Is that... Do you have yeah. like the normal Hulu or Hulu Plus? Uh, Whoop! We just lost Frank. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see if I can bring him back. Oops. I think this is the same same person. Six oh nine. Frank, is that you? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Do, yeah. Sorry, we dropped you for a second. Oh, okay. Do you have yeah, Do you have Hulu I, or Hulu I, Plus? Hulu Plus, the one without the commercial. I, I got that's the plus without the commercial. I guess that's yeah. Plus. So, Okay, now, is is the regular Hulu account free or is is it 
Hulu costs money. Hulu Plus costs more. Hulu it Plus costs be. more. Yeah. Because they'll just subtract the commercials. If you buy regular Hulu, you still have to pay, but it's like maybe 20% less, 25% less, <laughs> but you're subjected to the commercials. You now, see, so, to me, the only thing I don't get, it, like I said, I don't get ABC. There's really not anything on ABC I watch. The one or two shows I will watch, I just let them go on to Hulu. And see, I hate them to, because Hulu works as my DVR. Hulu, to me, is the closest thing that I could think of that's consolidated content. But it's not there yet. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yeah. between between Hulu and maybe Netflix, you could probably get yeah. maybe, what, 60% of what's out, you know, what you well, want to watch. Except for, like, live some. sporting events. But that's a whole other discussion. That's a well, whole yeah, other but, you know, thing. Like, yeah, but the weird thing is I've noticed live sporting events, most, like, if you're watching, let's say, NFL, is going to show up on either CBS or NBC. ABC doesn't touch it anymore because they dumped it over ESPN, which they own. Right, or really, Fox. If I really, really want to see a game, I'll go across the street to the bar. They've got a better TV anyhow. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I mean, you're an Eagles fan, right? No, actually, I was raised in northern Jersey, so I'm a Yankees and a Giants fan. Oh, right. Giants, well, Giants, it's, it's but it's the same Eagles. thing because it, it's you're talking NFC. So, because it's NFC, yeah. most of the NFC Coach games Johnson. are going to be on Fox. Correct, correct. So, do you have do you have Fox? Can you watch Fox? Yes, I do. So, yeah, I, I'm down here by Philly. I'm able to get their Fox station, Channel 29. Uh, I used to live up in Eastern Pennsylvania in an area that where I was able to get both the New York Fox and the New, uh, Philadelphia Fox. The same for the other majors, which was kind of strange because you go watch the news and just flip around and stuff. Yeah, was, uh, Frank, Frank, you and I are like general, the same, like... actually, the same situation. We're we're in. Yeah. I'm in Yardley, Pennsylvania. You're, we're probably neighbors. So. Okay. Um, well, I used to live up in the Lehigh Valley. Yeah, we're clo- we're neighbors. So which is like we're both completely... we're both Giants fans that have to listen to Fox 29 and uh, yeah. ABC six. That's all Eagles. Um, that was so the even in the Lehigh Valley, I could always watch. I could always watch the Giants game on NYW. Always. Yeah, we used to live in New Jersey. My wife and I. We grew up in Central New Jersey, and actually, right in, oh, just at? like you, in hmm? uh, in Heightstown, New Jersey. Oh, I was going to say I was born out in Somerville, so and then I lived up in Port. <laughs> You're 20 minutes. Yep, I uh, used to work up there. But just like you, where we were, we had access to New York stations and the Philadelphia stations, so we were able to yeah. jump around. Um, yeah, long suffering, long suffering Miami Dolphins fan here. Are you kidding? We're Giants fans. We're one and eight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we look, Eli's dying out. Let him get his record. Get out. Get McAdoo yeah. out of there and start fresh. McAdoo should have gone out three games ago. I mean, I can't even believe that he's still in there. I thought for sure he was going to be out in the sixth game, but then he put in that new offensive cup. Well, now we've gone into a football show. But yeah, he, I was going to say, how did, how did this become a football show? Well, you got when two people when did like this happen? Same, you got two well, hurting fans that, that root for the same team. <laughs> I, don't, right. I don't know a lot about computers, but I can talk about my sports teams. You know. Guys, yeah, well, this we is can talk th- for hours about how bad the Giants are. I'm sure. Why, why don't we? Why oh, don't yeah. we use the? Are, you're not going to be on next week, Warren. No, I'm on your cruise. Away. I'm on a cruise. Yep. Okay, then. Um, if uh, <laughs> anyone who's still on, and I'm guessing most of the hardcores are still on, uh, I'm kind of looking for uh, someone to come on with me next week. If you're interested, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me know later on. Uh, we can talk about topics during the week, uh, but actually I would love to continue talking about cord cutting, uh, but we are, are, we are already almost an hour. So we got to kind of, we got to kind of cut this off, but I, I want to save this for school night. another day. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, at the age of, uh, God, how old am I now? 57. Don't no, I don't care. Yeah, I'm 57 wait, years wait, old. Wait, 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 you're 57? Yeah. You're a pup. Uh, well, maybe. I'm going to be 62 this weekend. Jeez, well, the I'm thing is, there are so many people. We had, 
I, I don't want to say the guy's name. Uh, when I was on the the My Mac podcast with uh, you know, other other hosts, right. we had we had a guy on a comic book guy, and yeah. uh, based on that, you can probably find out who it was. But and this was, I guess, two thousand seven, two thousand eight, and uh, as we were going through the conversation, I was I got kind of curious. I said, well, "Well, how old are you?" And he got like almost like super offended and i was like dude what's the big deal who cares you know i mean i'm and i i told him i'm 48 or however old however however old i was at the time and it's like what 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 freaking difference does it make was he a woman no oh then i don't know men men generally don't get offensive uh about that women seem to not like the question yeah never, never, never ask wonder woman how old she is (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Yeah. she's from yeah. the 20s beating up hitler and shit yeah that, that yeah. works for me she's hot all right thanks frank all right appreciate the call thanks frank all right <laughs> all right that is gonna do it for t- i think actually tonight this this was like a, a major success we got we got a couple calls in mm-hmm. nothing really blew up once i figured out what the problem was with audio. Yeah. I'm I'm actually quite pleased with the uh, events of the evening. I might give this <laughs> microphone a good reveal. Yeah, you, it sounds really good. Well, I, I, I'm a big fan of Sennheiser mics. I've got um, a couple of uh, E835s in my, uh, in my mobile gear kit. Well, when and we get done with this, I'm doing karaoke on videotape. It. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> We will we will stop the stream and uh, Warren's going to do karaoke. I may, I may include it with the um, the finished copy of this that I'll put on YouTube later that I always link back to it at Mac to the Future. Uh, if you'd like to karaoke. if you'd like to talk to either Warren or myself. You can contact us through uh, Facebook, the the Mac to the Future Facebook page. Uh, it's a great, it's a great uh, page for Mac users or Apple fans in general. Uh, we're not stuffy, and we have we have a pretty good time. Bring just bring a sense of humor, though. If you don't have a sense of humor, don't bother coming. There's, there's, there would you won't be happy. You will not be happy. Nope. And. Not uh, at all. You can also contact me through uh, an email service that I have, guy at mttfgo.com. I actually should make like a little graphic to put on the bottom there like I've got with the Xeno Live service, which we are going to do again probably next week. So if you have used this before, if you've used this tonight or you want to use it in the future, it's xenolive.com forward slash gtech podcast and of course we have a telephone number 701-801-4367 that you can use to get a hold of us and then uh, hopefully dial five but uh, warren thanks again for coming on i hope you and your wife have a wonderful time on your cruise where are you going or do you not want to say um, <laughs> is, is it a secret we're going to oh. no no we're going to western western caribbean um oh, very nice on, on a royal caribbean thing yeah, and in case anybody wants to know, I am bringing, um, really quick, I'm bringing my iPad, my AirPods, my Apple Watch, and I am bringing my 12-inch uh, MacBook, um, even though my wife told me not to. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you probably won't use it. I mean, I can see, nah. have, you know, this is a discussion we can have when you come back. And, yeah. and we, we can talk about, you know, how well things worked out as far as tech goes, because I got to tell you, your Internet is going to be total crap on the cruise. It wasn't bad last time I went. So maybe I'll maybe we'll do a, a, a we'll try a podcast from the sea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'll work. <laughs> yeah. Your wife will be real happy about that. Anyway, thanks yeah. to everyone who uh, stayed with us through the whole thing. We we actually I think we were up to like uh, 12 people on the live cast, which I think is a record. Uh, Thank you all again for coming on, and I will see you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the Mac to the Future livecast. Have a good time, Warren. Bye, all. Thank you.
on a second. What happened here? Oh, there it goes. It got stuck. Yeah, the um, the screen. I couldn't. I couldn't get off of the um, the close screen. I couldn't get to back to the dual screen. Oh, we did like an hour show, hour and five minutes. I know. I'm I'm stunned. This is like the yeah. longest one we've ever done. That is. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Just means it's going to take me even longer. To get, it's not going to be up tonight because I'll <sighs> freaking. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, oh, oh Viagra. Because oh. um, <laughs> I, I basically use Adobe Premiere Elements to uh, to edit the show. And it doesn't take me very long. I basically just cut off the part where, you know, just before the titles come up and then kill it afterwards at some point when, you know, because part of part of what we're doing right now will be in it i don't know if the whole thing will be yeah people, you know, brian's like you're still streaming no we know we know it's it's guys guys thing oh that's right i Wait forgot oh i gotta turn that off uh, bye everybody uh, bye you know she, she sounds nice the after show party